Here we go, how to make your arms grow two inches in 60 minutes. That's what I just did today. A couple of days ago, I threw out a video uh, of some unique arm techniques. A lot of you have followed my arm techniques in the past on YouTube, but you got upset with me because I went towards weight loss stuff and I wrote a book and I got sidetracked. This was the first arm workout uh, video that I shot in about a year and a half, but uh, we're rekindling our relationship, you YouTube guys. Um, and I'll tell you what I, how I did it. I'm blowing my mind with what I did with my arm workout this last uh, today. Two days ago, I threw something out there that anybody who could guess the size of my arm pumped at the end of the workout, I give away a 12 week online training program, VIP membership, $997. So I got a picture of it at the end of the workout. My arm was started out at 17 inches, the beginning of the workout today. It ended at 19 and two, one and a half sixteenths, almost three sixteenths. That is over two and almost three sixteenths of an inch pump on my arm. How did I do that? I've never done that before. It's my world record. 51 years young, drug free for life guy. The first thing is I can tell you, I know I raised my natural testosterone levels through eating higher quality fats, using an inter, a personalized intermittent eat, uh, fasting strategy. Number two, so my anabolic hormones are up. I'm really, really good from 621 to 821. Second thing was I used a rubber band, blood flow restriction. I put it on my left arm, which is my smaller arm, uh, just for the workout today, all right? Um, not every set, but uh, like every other set. And I gotta tell you, a couple of things. Uh, it's gotta be real tight. Do not put it over your shirt. I wanted to put it over my shirt initially because I didn't want marks on my arm because I had art marks on my arm before. Uh, and people would say, oh, are you shooting needles in your arm? Well, that's just ridiculous. I've never done that. So, but that was a problem. I couldn't get it off. Uh, the rubber band got caught in my shirt. At the end of the set, you want to get it off? I couldn't get it off. It was sort of scary. So the second time I did it, I said, you know what? I'm going to roll the sleeve up. And I put coconut oil on my arm, nice and pretty lubricated. And it was so much easier to get the, the rubber band on and the rubber band off. So that cured that problem. I really love blood restricted flow uh, training. If you don't know what it is, it basically allows you to use a lighter weight. Uh, it restricts the blood pumping from the heart to the biceps so the blood gets trapped in there. It engorges the veins and the muscles and the pump is unbelievable. Uh, so that's what I did today. Another thing was I've been loading creatine a little bit differently, playing creatine monohydrate twice a day. Um, once before the work, I'm sorry, once in the morning after cardio and I get and heart and, and abs, I get my a little bit of a workout, but not weight training. And I take it in with water right after that. So I just think it helps it absorb really good then. And then I take it in pretty much right after the workout with some bread uh, and some water and it's absorbed nice and quick. Plain creatine monohydrate. That's the second thing that I did. Uh, I shot a video two days ago about the unique techniques of working doing drop sets and working in the upper range of motion and then the lower range of motion. So just a variety of tensions, pretty much going to absolute failure on every set is my philosophy of all time, slowing down the rep speed. And uh, what else? Um, the, uh, the eating strategy of higher quality fats, 50 to 60% fats, lower amount of protein. I'm only taking in 100 to 125 grams of protein per day. So I'm eating intermittent fasting, higher quality fats, in all meals ex in the 12 to 8 p.m. window, except before and after the intense weight training session. That's where you eat like a bodybuilder, take the fats out, shuttle in a lot of carbs. I eat two, uh, two big buns of bread and uh, powdered bone broth protein at the end of the workout, and then I'll have a banana and a piece of bread before the workout. Those are the only two windows that I take in starchy carbs for the most part. I'm not perfect, but that's the plan. So anyway, my arms measured nine and two and a half sixteenths at the end of the workout. I gained over two inches of a, a pump in an uh, hour workout. It's my world record. I'm super excited about it. Uh, if you guys want more information about how to make your arms grow naturally, comment below, get some action going, and I'll come up with a, a product for you guys, a private Facebook group where we can sort of all uh, be in one spot and answer all your questions on all things arms. If you want all things arms, comment below. Share this video for me if you liked it. That'll uh, really help build our relationship up because I'll give you something and then you give me something. Darren Steen, you know what? You do have the power to make your guns grow. Woo! Who needs a conceal and carry when you got something like that? Let's rock and roll.